Nothing wrong with being young and in love. In love? I see how that boy look at you. Mm. Well, me and Roger barely know each other. Uh, both 30 in the morning say different. <laughs> no, it was just whatever. We was hanging. Mm -hmm. He good to you? Yes. Yeah, you willing? He able? Mm, I am pleading the fifth on that one. Yeah. One of these days, you look back on this and you, you, you'll see different. <laughs> Welcome back. That was a clip from the Apple original limited series, The Last Days of Ptolemy Gray. The show is based on author Walter Mosley's acclaimed novel, and it tells the story of a man with dementia who is confronting his past. And one of the stars you saw just in that clip joins us now in studio. Everybody, welcome Dominique Fish back to the show. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Well, you, you, you did great on that walk in. We added oh. that live walk. And it's a, yes, it's a <laughs> good, there we go. You did great. Uh, Thanks. Now, we saw Samuel L. Jackson there yes. in the clip. He wanted you. He wanted you specifically, but you had reservations about taking the role it takes a little more explanation than that yes. but that's the truth right well yes <laughs> well he told me that he saw me in project power which i did with jamie fox yeah. and he immediately called his producing partner and said i think we found the girl mm -hmm. i guess it helped that my character's name was robin in that movie and in the show <laughs> um but for me i just finished doing judas and the black messiah and uh I'm a lot older than what I look like. <laughs> and, uh, and I'm always playing teenagers. And I thought, well, that was my, even though that character was a teenager, she still had like a woman quality, a, a nurturing quality. And I said, maybe it's time for me to transition out of playing so many teenagers. Oh. I'll always play teenagers, teenagers as long as they want me, but you know what I mean? <laughs> and uh, so I, that's why I had the reservations. But I read the novel and I, I, I had a chemistry test with Sam. And I thought, if I'm going to do anything, I'm as a. Yeah, no, I mean, <laughs> the older you get, the more grateful you'll be to play younger. Yeah, so that's pretty cool. Now, you said you play Robin in the series. And when you take on these roles, you don't take them lightly. I understand yes. you made a 28-page PDF document about your character as you were preparing to play <laughs> her. I did, because normally I would journal as my characters. But uh, every time I sat to journal as her, it couldn't come out, and I didn't want to force it. And uh, I felt her saying, like, I don't know what you did with those other characters, but I don't journal. So I said, we're going to have to compromise here. <laughs> so, so I read the book by Walter Mosley, and it was just so rich in a novel that I thought, well, we need to bring this back to make sure that she has autonomy over her own body, and we know mm -hmm. her dreams, and just very specific things that wasn't so much in the script at the time. And I was lucky that him and Sam and uh, everybody wanted to hear what I had to say. So in order to put it concise and streamline it, I had to do it in a way. Wow. Yeah. I put pictures. I wanted her to have a scar. She doesn't have a scar in the book, but in the movie, in the show, she does because I wanted to have something that says like "show don't tell." She has a, a tough wow. exterior. Wow. So they and they really received a lot of the things and. I did pictures and quotes and just a whole bunch of stuff. It's a lot of fun for me. Wow. I was a nerd in school. <laughs> <laughs> you, know, you said something that got my attention and had me thinking. You said you did a chemistry test with Samuel L. Jackson. Now, you, in the business, you've gone to auditions. You know how this works. But for lay folks sitting here, thinking what that would be like <laughs> to be sitting up and having to do a chemistry test yeah. with Sam What is that like to sit just with him in the first place, but yeah. having to see if you guys vibe? Yeah, well, we had to do it on Zoom, and that always oh, makes things a, a, little, a little harder. But um, I don't know. I just I know you just got to be yourself at the end of the day. They know what they're looking for, and all you can do is, is be yourself. And so I'm from Brooklyn, right? And, like, Sam has a very specific sense of humor. And I, if you can go back with him, like, back and forth, then I think he, he respects it. So it keeps it fun, and I guess he knew that wouldn't be too sensitive. <laughs> you know what that's interesting, though, to think about? that it's, it's whether or not Samuel L. Jackson and Dominique Fishback actually gel versus necessarily your characters yeah. gelling. Yeah. They, uh, well, the characters, I think... We just had a, a easy rapport with each other just from talking, and originally, I think he respected the, the document. He's mm -hmm. been trying to do this show for 10 years, and he has a lot of family that suffer from Alzheimer's, so um, mm -hmm. I knew it was really important to him. And then the first day when I was on set, he said, um, after you said this line, a weight lifted off my shoulders because mm -hmm. I, I knew that you know, it was in good hands. Wow. You know, look, we've been watching you, and congrats on this, but uh, there was a story that you actually, I think you only did it once, but you read poetry on a subway for money when you were short on cash uh, oh. at some point early on in your career. And I, I know you didn't do that a lot, but it just goes to show, here you are sitting with success mm -hmm. and Judas and the Black Messiah that you got so much attention for. 
Um, just reflecting on the journey now that you mm. get to sit here and the opportunities you're having. Yeah, well, that was because a lot of times in, um, every semester I wouldn't be able to go back to, to college. It was a private um, university. My mom was a school teacher for 31 years, but and so because of that, they didn't really give us a lot of uh, loans. So at one point, I, got, I just got really like fed up and went on a train and I did my own poetry for money. Did it for like an hour and I got $70. <laughs> and um, wow. this little girl, she was probably like three years old, she gave me like two pennies and that really oh, wow. meant a Aww. lot to me. Cause you know, <laughs> when you can touch the heart of a kid and they yeah. want to donate to you whatever they have, it's kind of <laughs> awesome. Oh, that yeah. is a great story. You still remember that yeah, kid no. and that two, those two pennies. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.